The beauty industry is back in business and it's stirring up mixed emotions from clients and employees. They all just want to be safe, of course. Haley Mason is at a salon in Buckhead where they're calling their first day a smooth practice run in safety and health. How did it go, Haley? went as safely as we could possibly think for an industry that can't technically socially distance. Anything you want to get done from your hair to your nails happens inside these doors, doors that you couldn't get into today without wearing a mask. It actually has been going so smooth. Salon owner Steve Hightower has spaced out his clients on his schedule and he has only a few staff members working, equipping each station with cleaning products. Everyone here has to put on a mask to walk in. We have kept the clients space way apart and it's like they're loving that. Normally doing full service salon and spa treatments, today they've scaled things back for safety. Today we're offering all, of course, the full service on hair services, color, cuts, everything like that. I uh, try to do my hair myself at home and I kind of messed it up. So I was really happy when I heard that the salon would be opening. There's a nail technician doing manicures and pedicures, and estheticians doing lashes with masks and towels on the clients' faces. Everyone spaced out in a different room, telling us they're doing things as safely as they can. I feel a lot safer here than like I would at the grocery store or at Target because, you know, it's not crowded. But still, there are mixed emotions about the reopening of these types of businesses this soon. If I don't come back to work, I'll be homeless in two months. Tamara Townsend says she has struggled after being denied unemployment. She's coming back grateful, but says she's concerned that service industry workers, many without health insurance, are being thrust into the public first. I do love my clients. I am happy to be back to work with these safety protocols. But I'm not happy about the way our state chose to implement the return to work. For now, they're doing what they love. But today we've been very fortunate. Doing what they have to, to make it. And making it means spending money to keep people safe. This afternoon, Steve Hightower tells me they just got another shipment of protective gear. They'll be going through that this weekend as more clients begin to fill the schedules. Reporting in Buckhead, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Thank you.